Hello YTPC, Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. Today we have another Parsimonious Pipe and some shout outs. But first, in a little three star Pipe by Lee apple or a pear rather, I've got some Mac Baron Golden Extra Ready Rubbed. It's a nice soft burly, very light cocoa flavor. In fact, I, I get more burly than anything, but it's, it, it is soft. So today's parsimonious pipe is this Missouri Meerschaum Wizard Cobbit. Let's take just a little closer look. Now there's no fancy grain on a cob to take a look at, so in addition to this shot, let's take a look at something to give a little perspective. Uh, the bowl on this pipe is between three and four inches total height. The inner chamber is two, two and a half or so. And compared to a medium sized cob, you can see the difference in length and the difference in bowl depth. Now with the bowl that deep, this pipe will hold a lot of whatever it is that you want to smoke. Personally in this one, I like Burley Blends. It is an unfiltered pipe. And uh, so I don't, I don't try and throw aromatics through it, but uh, it, it handles things like Haunted Bookshop, Old Joe Krantz, even these uh, Mac Baron uh, Ready Rubbed uh, Burleys does a pretty good job with them. I haven't tried, I don't believe, any of my lat bombs like uh, Pirate Cake. But I just, I really love the way the burlies burn in there. That pipe, let me double check. That pipe cost me $33, including shipping and handling. Not a bad deal if you want to try a church warden, but you don't want to spend the 100, 200 plus for a Briar Church Warden. The caveat being, this has a massive bowl. So if you want something that's a little more uh, reasonable in terms of the smoking length, uh, their Dwarf uh, Cobbit uh, and uh, a couple of the others uh, have more normal sized bowls. This is more along the lines of a general. So let's move on to shout outs. I've got four for you today. Beginning as always with a non presenter that I'd like to thank you for your support. And that is Rockwell blue three. Thanks for the sub. Moving into presenter land. Welsh Piper 62. He's under 50 subs right now. Uh, he's got uh, eight or nine videos up and he is showing us the progress of building his own pipe cabinet. Give him a look. I think you'll find him interesting. Next on the list, Christian K Pipes. Now this young man is a budding pipe maker and he is showing us videos of his successes as well as, well, his not so successes. Great young guy. Give him a look. Last but not least, certainly not least, if anybody watching this video does not know uh, my next shout out, well, you're really new to this <laughs> because Kane Rod Piper, Mike has, uh, he subbed me this last week. I appreciate the support, Mike. Um, Kane Rod, wow, what can you say about the guy? Um, he is a wellspring of pipe and tobacco knowledge. Unbelievably skilled at pipe repair and refinishing. Um, 
even just doing cleanups. Uh, from what I understand, his backlog is pretty extensive right now. But he also has wonderful, very thoughtful rambles. Most weeks. Uh, most weeks he puts together a, a ramble for us that, that really does make you pause. So if you are not subbed to Cane Rod, you have to give him a look. He also does a Friday night live stream where uh, most weeks he has a very interesting interview with someone in the pipe community. It can be another YTPCer, it can be someone uh, from the actual industry industry, um, pipe makers, uh, blenders, uh, you know, manufacturer reps, that kind of thing. Fascinating stuff, just really good stuff. So. All of those will be down below as I put them uh, every week. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. With that, like something you like. Enjoy your new channels.